Hey Tovians, welcome back. It's Tovia Ogun. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe. So guys, this is a very quick video, okay? You will not be seeing my face. Basically, there's this new message that just came up, okay? Only for those channels that are monetized. And if you're not yet monetized and you look forward to monetization, I will also encourage you to watch this video is very very important so if you live outside the united states this is for you if you don't you're actually good to go but you can still watch the videos to learn what we that are not in the u.s are going through because i live in the uk okay so basically i am not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to task but i'm gonna just try to share with you guys the little things i've read and the things that i also saw on youtube so basically i am going to be filling my own task info on this video so i decided to film it for you guys to watch it and for everyone who needs to feed us this can also stand as a help for you okay but before i just feel others if i just want to quickly go through the email to you know explain some of the things i understand and i also leave some videos below that will help you guys you know with more info that you you know understand about this issues so basically this email came having this adding upcoming task changes to your youtube is okay and then it went forward that we are reaching out because google will be required to deduct us taxes from payment to creators outside of the us later this year as early as june 2021 so if you live outside us if you live outside the states you gotta pay tax right from now so if you're monetized and you live outside us you're gonna start paying extra tax to the u.s country okay now this is the new update now over the next few weeks we'll be asking you to submit your task info in absence to determine the correct amount of taxes to deduct if any apply some people might end up still not paying i think this actually depends on countries that have treaty with the u.s you know when you have tax treaty with the u.s i think you might not pay tax this task i'll be taking is from all your viewers in the u.s so let me say i live in the uk right now i have viewers i have people that are watching me from us any money that i'm making from those people youtube is going to be taking their own percentage for task you understand to the u.s country so that's the issue that we are going to right now anyways enough with me talking guys let's just dive into this video let's fill others form together and let's see what's gonna happen so to start filling others form you want to just go to your google assets account so log in your google assets this is where we're going to be filling the form so i'm just going to click on the part that says manage task info now you can see the new page it says provide or update your task information your payments profile and country determine how your taxes are collected with aired and reported so you can click on lemo to you know lemo of those things but on that it says united states task info to get payouts from google make sure that you provide your task information this will take a few minutes so basically i think if you refuse to fill out this form and provide your task info before the weeks you'll be given to provide it they will start taking tasks out of every countries okay anybody as your viewer they will start taking tasks from all of those countries so it's better that you fill out this form as soon as possible okay now it says for me no task info on file so i'm going to need to add the task info so just click on add task info so basically guys i just have to blow out this part because it just showed me my google assets account it says i should log in so i'm just going to log in and then i will show you guys the next page so just log in as well and then we'll meet at the next page so guys after i send in this page actually pop up it says united states task info to find the right task form please answer a few questions first say what type of account is your name is over there now you can click on this arrow to read more it says an individual account is owned and operated by a human okay a non-individual or entity account is a business account that that is separate from its owner for task purposes i don't know why i'm finding it hard to actually read today guys anyways i'm just gonna say individual because this account is mine not non-individual so just click on next 
if yours is the organization please click on what actually applies to you now the next one says are you a citizen or resident of the u.s for me i am not if you are just say yes so for me i am not next now it says select w8 task form type based on your previously selected answers a w8 form is needed so guys just ignore the fact that i'm not reading this way because i'm trying to like read and you know put the word on my brain so just bear with me so i'm going to choose the first one because i am a non-us individual i'm not a non-us business entity if you're a business go ahead and pick number two for me i am a so i'm just going to say start w8 b e n form and let this actually load so guys this new page actually pop up i'm just gonna read what it says first one says name of individual which is your name is gonna be there now this optional part it says dba doing business as a name or disregarded entity let me even see what that is it says as name is a company name different from the owner's name it's, i think i'm just gonna leave it out because i am not doing business with my full name but if you read what i actually showed you just now and it applies to you, you can feed the details over there but for me it doesn't apply to me so i'm just going to move to the next one which is country of citizenship just put your country of citizenship guys now I've put mine you can also put yours now moving forward it says taxpayer identification number authority i n guys that's what actually me you can actually provide yours and then so guys i just wanted to say case if i'm not showing you guys most info that's because most of these infos are really really personal infos but all the same once you fill out your foreign tin you can just move forward then for the us itin or ssn i don't have any of those and it even says auctional so i'm not gonna bother myself Let's click on next so the second one says your address this is where you get to fill out your address and every other things where you live so i'm just gonna fill out mine and i will show you guys once i am done filling it out now if your postal address is the same as your permanent residence address just click on this box if it's not then fill out this other info for me it is so i'm just going to say okay now once you've done that you want to just click on next now the task treaty which is the third one are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a task treaty so if you say no it means your country is not among those countries that get to take tax treaty from the u.s but if you say yes it means you're a resident of the country claiming treaty with the u.s and i think that is my i'm in the uk and it is part of those country resident of country claiming treaty with the u.s that is my country now you gotta put the country there so mine is united kingdom just find your country and put it there yep that will go so now special rates and conditions so i am part of the access i'll just say article 7 and paragraph 1 with holding rates to assets as zero percent So guys over here i just use task with holding rate zero percent now i'm just gonna click next so guys i won't fit all of that now you're gonna be presented with this page so just go ahead and fill your document read everything make sure you understand it i think if you don't you can just press back and go make some changes for me i think it is okay i've been able to do this to the best of my knowledge so if this also applies to you just check this boards and then go ahead and click on next so this is a lot you need to read on the penalties of Jury, I declare that I have examined the information on this form. Put your full legal name over there. Are you the person listed in the signature section? If you are, then say yes. If you're not, then say no. So if you are the one, then just click on next. Now, the last part, I think, as the individual or entity identified in the task and entity section perform any activities and services for Google within the U.S., I'm going to say no because I think I have not. 
are you providing task info for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payments no i am providing task info for an existing payments profile that has previously received payments and then click on submit oh. So guys, congratulations because we did it very well. You can see my status now says approved and every other thing says claim, but it is 0% claim, which is amazing, which means I don't get to pay anything, which means they don't get to withhold any tax from me because everything says 0% claim. Now, the reason for this is the United Kingdom is one of those countries that is in the task treaty with the u.s so because of that i don't get to pay anything congratulations to me and to every one of you so that completes this video let me know in the comment section if you have any question or if there's anything you don't understand from the phone please let me know and don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video and share the video i love you and bye